Kiyotaka Ayonokoji begins attending school in Class 1D at the Tokyo Metropolitan Advanced Nurturing High School, an institution established by the government to train Japan's best students. Class D's homeroom teacher, Sei Chabishira, explains the point system where everybody gets a monthly allowance of 100,000 points that they can use as money at local shops, with one point equaling one yen, and also warns the students that they are judged on merit. Kiyotaka begins navigating the system, being careful about how he spends his points, while getting to know the gregarious Kikyo Kushida and then attempting to make peace with his aloof class fellow, Suzune Horikita. In an attempt to help Kushida become friends with Horikita, Kiyotaka brings her to a cafe where only girls meet, having secretly arranged for Kushida and two other classmates to be there. However, Horikita sees through the plan and leaves disgustedly. As the month of April passes, the majority of Class D lavishly spends their points and slacks off in class without any reprimand, causing Kiyotaka to be suspicious. On May 1st, the Class D students are surprised to find out that they did not get any allowance, and Chabishida explains that their allowance depends on merit. Having ignored their studies, the class receives no points for the month. Chabashida explains how the system works at this school. The four first-year classes are all ranked by merit, and Class D has the opportunity to be promoted to Class C with strong performances on exams. She also warns that with the current situation, anybody who fails one more exam will be expelled. Now fully aware of the system, everybody takes their studies more seriously, except for the three biggest idiots in the class, Ken Sudo, Kanje Ike, and Haruki Yamuchi. Horikita treats Kiyotaka to an expensive lunch to discuss these matters, and asks for his help in bringing those three idiots aboard for her study group in the library. Hirokita and Kushida succeed in getting them to come, but they leave immediately because of Horikita's behavior, while Sudo lets everybody know that he wants to play pro basketball, so he has no interest in his studies. That night, Kiyotaka overhears Horikita talking to her brother, the student council president, Monobu, and Monobu attacks her over a disagreement about her misplaced view that isolation is independence. Kiyotaka intervenes and Monobu then reveals that he scored a 50 on every test, and asks if it was a coincidence or not. The midterm exams come, and Class D as a whole performs very well, with some scoring the highest among the first years of school. Class D gets the results of their last exam, and everybody passes except Sudo, who missed the passing threshold by one point. The grades were a result of Kiyotaka spending 15,000 points to buy an old exam questions from an upperclassman, three days prior to the exams. He explains that none of this is against school rules, asking her whether equality exists, and she answers that it does not, and Kiyotaka agrees. Sudo's expulsion was rescinded after Kiyotaka and Hirotaka spent their points to increase Sudo's test score by one point, allowing his expulsion to be rescinded. That night, Kushida organizes a little party in Kiyotaka's room. After the party, Kushida leaves but forgets her cell phone, and Kiyotaka follows her to return it, but in the process ends up finding out about the jealous, nasty, and irrecipable side of her personality. July 1st arrives, and Class D's point distribution is put on hold due to an incident the previous day involving Sudo and three basketball teammates from Class C. Sudo was attacked and fought back in self-defense. However, due to his poor reputation, he's going to be held liable unless the class can find a witness to clear his name before the hearing next week, which would consequently result in the class receiving no points for the month. In an attempt to manipulate the case in their favor, the three Class C attackers secretly request classmate Kekiro Ryuin to beat them up. With the help of Class B, the Class D students post messages asking for witnesses to the incident. Hirokita tells Kiyotaka and the others that Adi Sakura was there and witnessed the incident with her camera. That night, Kiyotaka and Kushida discuss how, in a murder case, if one of the suspects is a known murderer while the other is a law-abiding citizen, if there is a lack of evidence, people are more likely to believe the law abiding citizen, even if they're guilty. The next day, Sakura is approached for the evidence and runs away, dropping her camera in the process. Sakura freaks out when she cannot turn on her camera, thinking that she broke it, and continues running, not wanting to get involved. Sakura asks Kiyotaka and Kushida to accompany her to the electronics store to get the camera repaired, which is covered under warranty. The store clerk asks Sakura to give out her contact information, and Kiyotaka gives his instead. Kiyotaka figures out that Sakura is the internet model that has become a big hit recently. At the hearing presided over by Manabu Horikita, both classes give their testimonies, accusing each other of instigating the fight, with the initial ruling going in Class C's favor. After staying silent, 
Suzune, Horikita, speaks up after getting tickled by Kiyotaka. She then presents Sakura as a witness, providing evidence that she was present as she captured the fight going on in the background during a school photo shoot. However, the evidence only proves that she was present and does not clear Sudo of any wrongdoing. The Class C homeroom teacher, Sakagami, proposes a compromise to suspend Sudo for two weeks and the three Class C students for one week each but Class D rejects it. At this point, Manabu realizes that one side is clearly lying, and he ends the hearing by saying that he will announce his decision the next day unless admissions or additional evidence is presented. He also mentions that he could expel students as a result. Sakura returns to her dorm to find her mailbox stuffed with photos of herself, taking advantage of the delay in the final ruling that was made possible by Sakura's photo, Kiyotaka and Hirotaka set up a trap at the stairwell. Kushida sends a fake message to the three Class C students, ordering them to meet her at the special annex in order to draw them to the stairwell, where Kiyotaka and Horikita are waiting and security cameras purchased by Ichinose are secretly installed. This helps them trick the Class C students into believing that neither side stands to gain by going forward with this complaint and that the three students stand to get expelled because they told a malicious lie that got the school involved. As a result, the Class C students agree to withdraw the complaint. Afterwards, Sakura gets assaulted by the electronic store clerk, who's a big fan of her net alter ego, Shizuku, and Kiyotaka and Ichinose arrive to save her using the tracking feature in their phones and the security cameras to arrest the clerk. Suzuki Horikita and Shibashira are shown to be discussing Kiyotaka, where Shibashira mentions that Class D is a place for defectives in the school, and Kiyotaka is the most effective of all, in her opinion. Manabu approaches Kiyotaka, asking him to join the student council, but he refuses while deferring the credit for settling the case to Suzune. Kiyotaka then tells Suzune that while he is willing to help Hirokita reach Class A, she could not pry into his life. Hirokita continues to study inside her dorm through summer vacation. Kiyotaka repeatedly calls her, asking her to go to the pool, and she reluctantly agrees. On the night before, a group of Class D students, consisting of Kiyotaka, Sudo, Ike, Yamauchi, and the operation leader, Hideo Sotomura, meet up to discuss preparations for peeping on the girls inside the changing room at the pool. During the trip to the pool, Sotomura observes the boys from the school's general storehouse while communicating with them using a transceiver and hand signals. After everybody has changed into their swimsuits, Yamauchi sneaks into the women's changing room as a janitor to secretly install the cameras under the pretense of closing it for cleaning. However, he has trouble doing it, forcing Ike to go in instead. Ryuen and the students from Class C approach the changing room while Ike is still in it. Needing help to escape, Sudo comes to the entrance of the changing room to confront Ryuen in order to stall for time while students from Class A arrive to start a fight. Manabu arrives to remind everybody that they are still being judged as long as they are on school grounds. With Sotomura alerting Kiyotaka about the situation, Kiyotaka asks Horikita to stand on top of the diving platform to give a speech about Class D ascending to Class A someday, despite the numerous defects the students have. With the students distracted, Ike escapes the changing room unnoticed. Shortly afterwards, Suzune goes into the changing room to remove the SD cards from the cameras to foil the operation. Kiyotaka explains to Suzune that he used her rather than convince his classmates not to do it because of the possibility that they would have done it behind his back. For a class trip, all the first-year students are taken on a luxurious cruise ship. Kiyotaka finds out from Chabishida that an unknown man had contacted the school asking for him to be expelled. Chabishida offers a cover for him in order for him to reach Class A. Suspecting that she may be manipulating him, he refuses, but she warns him that if he does, he will be expelled and stripped of his freedom. Later, Kiyotaka meets with Horikida to discuss the trip's destination. Kiyotaka explains that he suspects the school is taking them to a boarding house on an island owned by the school for an ulterior motive. Horikita is approached by Ryuin about the security camera set up and tries to manipulate her. Another student from Class C, Ibuki, tries to confront Ryuin about something, but is violently rebuffed by Albert. Hirokita remarks that Class C could be on the verge of collapsing from the inside. Saka Yanagi has been plotting in the background while trying to investigate some students. Later, Sakura calls out to Kiyotaka to ask him out on a date, but she suddenly changes her mind when he goes to meet her. 
When Kushida sees them together, Sakura is embarrassed and leaves. Kiyotaka tries to leave but is stopped by Kushida when she reverts to her darker personality. She tells him that she sensed his weirdness towards her, which she confirms. She then switches back to her cheerful personality and confesses that she feels lonely when left alone. The next day, the school informs all students of the real reason behind the trip. They are required to take a survival test on the deserted island for a week. From the manual, Yosuke Hirata explains how the survival test works. The class gets 300 test points to spend on food and other conveniences and whatever remains at the end of the week can be exchanged for class points. The class loses test points for injuries, polluting the environment, missing roll calls, and violence towards students in other classes. While Class D is determined to tough it out, the girls feel the need to have a portable toilet. The argument aside, Class D is determined to save up points. The group splits up looking for a camping spot, and Kiyotaka is paired with Sakura and Rokosuke Keonji. While he and Sakura look for a spot to secure, recalling what Shabishida said about possessing a spot and that only the designated class leader can do it and each possession that lasts for 8 hours gets the team one special test point that is only redeemable for class points. Also by risking 50 test points, the class gets to guess who the leader is from another class. While looking for a spot, Kiyotaka sees Kohei Katsuragi holding the leader card while talking with the classmate Yahiko Totsuka. Class D reconvenes and sets up camp at a spot by the river. Hirokita was chosen to be leader for being responsible and not standing out. While gathering firewood, Kiyotaka, Yameuchi, and Sakura find Mio Ibuki from Class C injured and Kushida decides to give her some of the fruit his classmates found. The class plans a strategy for spending their points as they set a limit of 180 points to buy two meals, a day, a toilet, and a tent, with 30 for unforeseen situations. However, the class suffers a setback when Konji withdraws despite not feeling as ill as he claims, costing Class D 30 points. Kiyotaka and Horikita go to reconnoiter the situation at the other camps. Class B's camp is set up near a waterfall and operates much like Class D's camp, but at a better location. Class A's camp is in a cave that is heavily guarded. Horikita attempts to take a peek, but she is turned away when Katsuragi summons his security force and warns her that her actions might start a war. Class C's camp is on a beach, where under Ryuin's leadership, all of the points have already been spent, and the class treats this test like a vacation. Ryuan did this knowing that they would not be penalized if they had spent all of their test points beforehand. As such, Ryuan punished Ibuki for being disobedient and critical of his leadership. On the night of the third day, somebody breaks into the girl's tent at the Class D camp and searches Ibuki's bag for her phone. On the fourth day, Class D does more reconnaissance to find out who the class leaders are. Kiyotaka and Sakura meet Ichinose at Class C's camp, only to find out that everybody except Ibuki has withdrawn from the test. On the fifth day, Kei Karuizawa finds out that her underwear was stolen. Class D conducts a bag search, and Yamauchi finds it in Ike's bag. Kiyotaka takes it, but the girls demand a pat-down. When the pat-down search is conducted, Hirata searches for Kiyotaka but reports that he couldn't find it. Later, he talks with Kiyotaka and decides to take the underwear, knowing that his reputation would be damaged the least for being the culprit, because Karuizawa is his girlfriend. In response to the underwear theft incident, trust within Class D erodes, and the girls of Class D decide to separate the boys and girls' camps. Ibuki approaches Kiyotaka, asking for his opinion about who the thief is, and he trusts her while telling her that Sudo suspects her. That night, Hirokita and Kiyotaka sit by a campfire, and Kiyotaka notices that Horikita has been sick during the entire test. Horikita has been resting in her room during the cruise in order to recover from her illness and was determined to tough it out. On the next day, Class D gathers food in advance of a rainstorm. While fishing in the river, Kiyotaka asks Horikita to show him her leader card in order to confirm whether the card Katsuragi was holding was real. However, he is still unsure after seeing it. Yamauchi approaches Horikita and puts mud on her hair, prompting Horikita to throw him to the ground. While Horikita goes off to wash the mud in her hair, somebody steals her leader card, and she secretly lets Kiyotaka know about it. Shortly afterwards, somebody starts a fire at camp, burning the survival test manual, leading to even more trust issues within Class D. Suspecting that this was Ibuki's doing because she is from another class, Horikita searches for her and finds out that she stole the card. Ibuki attacks Horikita despite the rules prohibiting violence against students from other classes, knowing that as long as nobody witnesses the fight, she can get away with it. Weakened by her illness, Horikita is easily beaten by Ibuki, and brings the keycard to some mysterious student who had, apparently, 
asked for it. Ibuki notifies Katsuragi through a ham radio that she has secured Horikita's leader card as Class A and Class C are revealed to be working together. With Horikita's illness getting worse, Kiyotaka has her withdraw from the test. On the final day, the students clean up their campground and the classes guess the leaders, with Class B opting not to make any guesses. At the assembly, Ryuen reveals that he secretly forged a pact with Katsuragi to transfer 200 test points to Class A in exchange for either the leader card or a photo of it. Class C quickly spent the remaining 100 points and everybody except Ryuen, Ibuki, and Kaneda, the last of whom was assigned to spy on Class B withdraw from the test. Class C would then guess the leaders. Totsuka for Class A, Chihiro Shiranami for Class B, and Horikita for Class D. The results are revealed, and the winner is Class D with 225 points, followed by Class B with 140 points, Class A with 120, and Class C with 0 points. The students return to the cruise ship where Arisu Sakayanagi reveals that things went according to plan in making everybody mistrust Katsurugi to weaken her leverage over the class as her ally Hashimoto secretly outs Class A's leader to Ryuen. Horikita explains to Kiyotaka that he intentionally led Ibuki to steal the card, and then had Horikita withdraw so that he could make himself the leader, ensuring that Class A and Class C incorrectly guessed her as the leader. As for guessing the other leaders, he reveals that he only saw the backside of Katsuragi's card and knowing how cautious he was, he deduced that Totsuka was Class A's leader. He was also aware that Ryuen had not withdrawn, leading him to guess that he was Class C's leader as he saw him with the same radio Ibuki was holding. Not wanting to jeopardize Class D's alliance with Class B, Kiyotaka opted not to name Class B's leader. Ryuen reveals that the main motivation for the alliance with Class A was that he would sign a contract to receive 20,000 points from each student of Class A every month until graduation. In a meeting with Chabashida, Kiyotaka finds out from her that the man who wanted him expelled was actually his father. Kiyotaka tells Chabashida that despite his father's attempts to remove him from school, he will continue to defy him. Having told Horikita that she needs allies, Kiyotaka makes it appear that she was the one responsible for Class D's victory in order to have others put their trust in her. However, Kiyotaka truly doesn't want anything to do with Horikita or anyone in his class, as he only sees them and humans in general as tools, and will continue to use and sacrifice others as long as he wins in the end. And that's the end of the video. As always, if you liked what you saw, please subscribe to the channel and check out my other anime recaps.